Okay, this is a quick video tutorial, screen capture tutorial on how to use the chart generator that we've provided. Uh, one of the problems in the past is that uh, people tried to use Excel, or students tried to use Excel, students are people too, um, and other things. And Excel just produces crap graphics and it's, it just doesn't make any sense what it does. So finally, uh, Google released the Visualization Playground, which was refer referred to in the resources part of the course, if you want to go there and play around. And we've built this sort of front end uh, to that playground to produce sensible graphs. So with respect to the first homework assignment, I just want to walk you through that. Uh, when you go to the actual graphing link up here, it will come out in this default configuration. Just erase all of this stuff. I guess I didn't get the last line, so I got to scroll down. And okay, we don't need any of that crap. All right, so now we have no chart and no data. A happy state of affairs. All right, so uh, in the spreadsheet you downloaded for the assignment, it contains two columns: year, which you plot on the x-axis, and millions of barrels per day used in that year, which you plot on the y-axis. So to use this chart, just do the following. Select column A and then just copy that. Go back here and paste it with Control V. Control V. There. Now I have my years populated from 1950 to 210. Uh, I haven't got a plot yet because I only have the X. I want to plot uh, the million, bar bar million barrels per day on the y-axis. So we'll go back to Excel start. Now select um, copy that or control C is the equivalent of copy. Uh, go back to this, select column C, hit control V to paste that in and voila there is my graph. Now at the moment we don't have any way to export this graph so you're going to have to just make a screen copy of that using any screen capture software and attach that to your homework assignment so that I know that you've actually produced the graph and answered the questions from looking at the graph. Finally notice if you put the left, if you just put the cursor on the graph you can see the individual data points. So hopefully this will be a much simpler way of producing a graph from an Excel data file. The end. Finish.